Okay guys, this is part one of functions and relationships. You will find your teachers referring to this as the spider diagram because it looks more or less like a spider with the legs and the sides. Now the area on the left is known as the input and the area on the right is your output. For the purposes of exams, your numbers that appear on the left, you'll take each one and substitute it into the expression in the box and your output answers will be on the right. Okay, the first thing I've done in this step here is I took the expression and I rewrote it at the bottom. A common mistake made by most learners in the exam setting is rewriting the statement or matched expression incorrectly. So be cautious when you rewrite these questions because under exam conditions, sometimes we tend to rush and make unnecessary mistakes. In this step here, you see I put the number 2 directly in place of the letter N and I've placed that in brackets. Uh, this is correct uh, substitution procedure. If you look at the next step, all I've done is remove the brackets. Just to explain to you how we remove the brackets, if you look at the imaginary one there, I've done it in red, the imaginary one in front of the bracket. And this means that the imaginary one will be multiplied by the minus two in the bracket. And this is indicated by the blue line there where I am showing which part is being multiplied. So the imaginary one is multiplied by the minus two and that's how my next step and the one at the bottom, I have arrived at minus two. The reason why I'm showing you this is if in terms of future examples, if for instance, it was minus n right at the top, uh, plus 2 so this is necessary in order for you to substitute within the bracket because sometimes there can be a minus in front of the bracket and that will change the question altogether in the next slide you'll see that I've used the principles of board mass I sorted uh, what's inside the bracket the minus 2 plus 2 will give me 0 0 times 5 brings us to our final answer and we see that I've put the zero at the top in line with the minus two of the spider diagram. And that shows that's our first output when our input is minus two. In the next slide, you'll notice that my input will now be minus one. And the first thing I've done is to write down the expression, making sure that I don't make a mistake when doing that. And thereafter, I've substituted I've uh, substituted in a simpler way to may help you understand but remember it must be done within the brackets and that's proper mathematical uh, procedures. Continuing with the next step you'll see that I've sorted out what's in the bracket so the minus 1 plus 2 in the bracket will give me an answer of plus 1 if you're unsure as to how to do this you can punch this in your calculator and your calculator will give you the correct uh, answer. And keep in mind that uh, you need to do the board mass. Now if I multiply the 1 times 5, I'm left with an answer of 5. And remember this is my second output when my input is minus 1. Moving on to the third input, which is our 0. We enter this into our expression and you can see it's already done there um, in the third set of working something to be mindful of is these kind of calculations can be done mentally uh, with enough practice but um, you can keep in mind also that uh, the expression that we have now that we've entered the substitution with the zero this can be entered directly into your calculator and you can arrive at the answer faster this slide here shows you the calculations have been done our output answer is 10 and if you notice I've indicated that at the top the next slide will be the answer for the last um, input and if you'd like you can pause the video and you can come back to it and check the answer to see if your working is correct then you know you fully understand this work. I hope you attempted the last one on your own and you can see the answer has been presented to you and if you arrived at the answer 20 then well done to you. Remember that there's a huge difference between watching a video and actually doing the maths work yourself. Uh, you learn more and much more by attempting it on your own and it sticks in your mind a lot better. The idea around the videos are to help you understand 
and to make it as simple as possible and furthermore to work in stages where from easy we work to the more advanced uh, questions in later videos so hope to see you then and thank you for watching